Tuesday's got to do this here. March the 13th. It's 9.45 and it's going to be 4 degrees, minus 6. Right now, and if you're looking at that downtown picture thinking, i got to get down there and i get to park again. And it drives me nuts trying to find parking or paying for it. Well, Will is here to save your day. Will, explain the, the, the concept or how it started, this idea of getting computer spaces, or I should say parking spaces online. Yeah, well, um, I've had issues trying to find park, monthly parking whenever I you know, work downtown. Um, I took this transit for quite a while, and I got pretty frustrating um, even trying to get a parking spot at the, some of the C train stations like Dalhousie. Um, so, you know, there are some of the lots like James Shore Parkade, Matt, there are six month waiting lists yeah. just to even get a spot. So, yeah. so really, what you, if you're going to drive downtown, you basically are doing a daily thing, and you're, you know, you're paying every day, and it's more money, and you're sitting in line waiting to get, you know, into your, in the morning, every morning. So you want to obviously try to get a monthly spot. So here's Will, smart guy, says, I see a problem, but I can find a solution. So what did you do? Well, I came up with this website where I thought, you know, it's a great idea to, to bring people together. So there's people, the, the, one of the key ideas is that, you know, people have a lot of space in downtown. Like they have condos, apartments, or houses. Yeah. And you're generally in, that air, uh, in the area. You know, you might not even think, hey, I've got a space I'm not even using. So why not, uh, you know, try to make some money for that? So I thought of having a central location where these two, you know, the two people can come together and hopefully provide a uh, service to people that are, in desperate need for a parking spot. And, and so, and so you go on to My Calgary Parking, and what you might, My Calgary Park, I should My Parking Calgary dot NIG dot com, is that right? It's actually My Calgary Parking dot name dot com. There you go. So there's a simple way to get all of it. I knew I'd get it eventually. And explain what happens. What do you do when you get there? Okay, well, if you're looking for a spot, you can easily just go to the, to the website and just yeah. browse, browse the website. But if you want to post a website, um, you, you register and that allows you to add a bunch of postings and you can, um, people will email you if, if they're interested in the spot. So it kind of gives you a little profile and a mm. chance to kind of modify. So when you, when you go to the, um, when you register and you, and you basically create your, your parking space, you can describe how much you want to charge per month, description, you can upload a photo of the site if you wanted to take a shot of the, yeah. you know, the parking spot. The point to be on photo. They <laughs> <laughs> um, And you can also locate your, uh, your, your spot on the Google map, which is kind of interesting because that gives people an opportunity um, to zoom in yeah. to, you know, to the area that they're looking for and basically um, maybe just click on a marker that's close to where they're looking for. And well, so Glenn's, uh, Glenn's noodling his way around. He's a bit of a parking guy. Okay. So he's on our computer right now playing with it. So explain what Glenn's seeing and then sort of what, what, uh, what you would do. You can either be looking for or looking to rent, correct? Either right. side. Right. Okay, so, so when we get something like this, what, what would you do first? Well, in, in the case where you're looking for a spot, um, you can click on one of those markers on the map there, yeah. um, and it shows a, a description of that particular spot, you know, $250 and, and that, and you can actually click on the, the, the link there in that, in that, um, yeah, click on that. And then it'll take you, you know, it'll I wonder if it'll have a picture. Boy, that would be sweet, wouldn't it? <laughs> so it just has a description, but it tells you all about it. Eighth and fourth, that's pretty good, that's right downtown. Yeah, it tells you about the spot, and, um, there's, there's also, you can reply, so there actually is a photo of the spot. Well, there it is. That's number <laughs> six, I believe. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> and, it's and, gorgeous. And, the, you know, the map location. So, so you have an option there of replying by email, and, and uh, you know, if the person doesn't really want to, you know, delve out their information as far as phone numbers and that, but yeah. this is an anonymous way, it'll just have a form they can submit and say, I'm interested in your spot. And, um, yeah, so, and then you can also click on any of the recent posts, or you can click on the calendar by day, and yeah. you look at, you know, certain posts that's kind of recent. Because so, then, could you also say, look, I only need it for weekdays, only need it for weeknights, only need it Tuesday, Thursdays. Can you do stuff like that? Sure. It's, it's up to the individual person to, you know, I set it up as monthly parking, but you could you could do daily or monthly, or yeah. weekly, and also, it's not just for downtown, I wanted to mention that it could be, if you have a parking space near a C-train or a bike path, even, like, sometimes you might want to get closer to a bike path park for the day and ride into downtown to avoid that downtown you know, rush. And what, what is the prices? What are we looking at? Ish. That was 250 Is that average? High? Low? That's that's probably getting closer to the high range. Um, yeah. I've seen a few ads where other, um, you know, hundred dollars a month and, yeah. and, and it's going to depend on, if you look at right now, like some of the site, you know, some of the, the city and the in park and that, you're looking at, you know, four hundred dollar range, yeah. uh, even more, and if you can get a spot. So yeah. if people are looking at that as sort of the, the the, the, the standard, you know, you probably want to lower it from that a bit and come down, you know, a few hundred bucks from that. Okay, so if I want to go, the website is? It's mycalvaryparking.ning.com. Mycalvaryparking.ning.com. NING.com, yeah. Pretty straightforward, easy enough to get a hold of you. What a great idea. Well, thank you very much. Isn't it, how long has it been up now? 
not even a week. <laughs> You're already on the news about it. Exactly. Clearly, parking's an issue in our city, isn't it? Sure, is. sure it is. Well, Will, it's good of you to come by. Will Kersky with us here. And again, if you want to park, he's got a website for you. You can get you all set up. We're going to go for a break, but thank you very much for coming by. Thank you. We're, going to, we're going away. In a city with the most expensive parking in Canada, many car owners are looking for an edge. Find like Yummy Now with a website that could help you find cheaper parking and maybe even make you money. Every day, Will Krisky keeps his eyes peeled as he drives downtown to work. He's on the prowl for a monthly parking stall. Even if Krisky were willing to pay the $400 a month that most lots charge, the problem is most are full. Six month plus waiting list just to get, you know, to get a, a spot. So Krisky created this. My Calgary Parking, an online community that puts people with available parking spots in touch with those looking for one. Anyone who would like to rent out their spot, even their own driveway to a commuter, can log on and list their price. You can um, des describe your site, you know, your, your parking space and the monthly rate, and you can upload a photo, and you can even locate your space on a map so that people can zoom in in a certain area that they're looking for and they'll actually see the, the locations that are available. The best part is you list the price. Make it as expensive or as cheap as you like. And so this opens up a lot of extra space that's underutilized right now. I think that's a great idea. I really do think that's a great idea. Friend Blakely used to drive downtown until parking skyrocketed. Now she takes the train. But with C-Train parking getting tight, she's considering driving again. Yeah. So ideally, if you could find a spot for a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. It's definitely worth your while. Christy says you don't have to live downtown in order to take advantage of his site. In fact, he's hoping people with parking stalls around the city near C-Train stations will also post their info online. If you can park near a house somewhere in the general area of a C-Train station and walk, you know, you're better off than going downtown. Right now, the site is free. Christy isn't charging a penny for people to list or browse through. Eventually, he may charge for advertising, but for now... But right now, my goal is just to get some, uh, some people using the site and hopefully getting value out of it. And let's face it, anything under $400 a month downtown seems like a good value these days. For your city, I'm Mike